right side of your screen. Oh, yeah, he just goes around. Yeah, Stenhouse had, he had to have had some. Larry said, did he get on Earnhardt? said, don't you think oh, about a, oh, oh, what's around? Oh, oh my big round. Hard in the wall. Oh, that was a hard lick. And that, that is Brian like Vickers. right rear oh. tire went down to me. My gosh, that was a hard lick. You know, we All saw right, that guys. car really dancing around. Tired. You uh, made a comment yeah. about it, DW. Uh, yeah. and, 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 and the next thing you know. Some sort right, of right up ahead, right in the middle. Bam. Wow. Wow. Gosh, that was hard hit. He almost That's missed it. Up. Hold your, hold your line It'd be tough when hold your line. somebody cuts a tire right in the middle of the field here. like that going into turn one. And remember, one. we've got it. Into turn one, you can start goes. to see the, the, the sidewall of the tire yep. hanging out. There she goes. It goes. It's just nothing you can do in that situation. Goodness. Oh, Clip Boyer just caught him. <laughs> and I'm really excited that I'm up here. Whoa, the there we go. Right Around goes Johnson. Oh. Oh, you're gonna tear it all in. Just four. Yeah, he hit rips the front it all splitter, apart. ripped the front end right off that car. He's caution he's waves. Be done. The nose of that. Hit. Oh, oh. I, I and, and, and look like maybe him and the 13 got well, together. Then and him and maybe Menard, Menard got together. Menard may have, get, may have given Jimmy a little shot and pushed him up into the 13. And that area where Johnson went off is the bus stop chicane for the sports car race. Real Being tight, real tight. Real tight. Oh, boy, Kyle Larson did a nice job there. I've loose and, and getting side to side and eventually it just turns them right into the outside into AJ Amendinger, unfortunately. Yeah. You know, I talked about this earlier. It's just really difficult to bump draft these days with the way the bumpers are shaped. And those are the, that's the risk that you're going to take, even though you're trying to get that car ahead. Well, when we look at the cars in the corner, think about how close the bumper is in the corner. When he gets on, drops to the bottom in front of Matt Whoa, Kenseth, oh, no. and a car's in the wall. It is Kurt Busch. Wow, it looked like something. That looked like a tire. There's Robin, more smoke else up going ahead. on the back straight. Big wreck. Big wreck on the back. Holy smoly. Wow, I did not see that. Logano and Edwards running right at the front, and McMurray trying to sneak past. There's Carl Eric Edwards. Elmerola, Here's Kyle, Kyle Busch. Busch. Like lost the right rear tire, maybe. Pretty good chance of that. He definitely was loose right there going in there. And so we're watching him and what he's in. Uh, they may be touching in. Squeeze oh, play. No, you know, Mears got Mears in the 13, bammed into the two of Keselowski and shot him into the 19 of Edwards. I, I'd love to hear the 19 car spotter to see if he thought he was clear there because he definitely squeezed that two. Oh. 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 middle, 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 middle. You could tell right there that the two saw the 19 coming yeah. up and was wanting to yeah, check right. up and the 13 got into the back of him yeah. and the whole. Wow. Whoa! Whoa. Oh, no, that's clear. it. They're well, behind you. Yeah, it's it all is. at the back. We may make it to the checkered flag. The wreck is at the tail end. They're two by two. You're clear by two. Leaders on the back straightaway. Coming hard. Caution wow. waves. It's Caution. over. Caution. Hey. Put a big block on the 27 car. The 20 gets right in there behind uh, mm. Menard. And then as they got into turn one, it looked like they just ran out of room between the 20 and the one. They, he was already side by side with the two and then caught up the, uh, the 78 eight in that as well. Wow. Just one wreck right after another. It's amazing. So when that little incident happened, when when the, the 11 blocked the 27's run and the 20 was right behind him, it just stalled him out a little bit. And that one car had momentum coming yeah. right to the center. He saw an opening there, and and in the closing, the 83 somehow that 40 checks ooh, up. Ooh, yeah. Michael got Michael got into the 83 there. Michael got into the back of Newman in the 31, but I'm not sure uh, exactly what all took place there. Yeah, I, I'd like to maybe go back a little further. I hit the wall to the right front, not very hard, but I did hit it. It went up to move the hood. The 95 or somebody was lost an oil line in front of everybody there. Ah, oh, okay. I think so, somebody lost an oil line. Yeah, so they saw something that was happening further ahead and it looked like the 40 bailed out of the throttle, and, and it's just a domino effect from. Oh, it is Colwitt. He is around. Reagan misses him. Caution waves. It was the move that could get you into the Daytona 500. Michael McDowell put a big spin on him. And then the seven car behind of, of Regan Smith 
had nowhere to go and got in the back of the 98 and turned him. Uh, that that right there. Line. That's the difference. Sheffy oh. versus Ford. Spinning goes Brian Scott to the infield, but Dale Earnhardt Jr. will win his dual race for the second year in a row. At down on the inside toward the back of that group. Wow. Around goes Brian Scott. Boy, that didn't take much at all. We yeah. saw Michael McDowell drop down to the inside, actually trying to help out Brian Scott, and it just brought that car. Baby. Push to block, down to the bottom, up to the top. Push oh, to block. No, 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 no. No. Uh, no. Blocking. Yeah. Trash heap. No, we're in a grass of two. He gets a, a good run, but he doesn't quite get there. And then he moves up to block the 48, who has a good run coming on the outside. They make contact. And here's the results of that. Kurt Busch just went right through there in a shower of sparks. Here are the three most badly damaged cars. And Danica Patrick as well. That's Tommy Joe going right through the middle, right in front of Timmy Hill. What a fortunate break for Timmy Hill in the fourth. That was a big crash. Look at in finger. Oh, there it is. In finger around. Cameron Haley around. Ben Kennedy. They got this for it. Huge crash in turn three. And Daytona with eight to go. I didn't see any way they could continue to run like that. Look at Terrio tore all to pieces back there. Fast truck. Two, three wide wasn't going to work, but it actually happened inside. It looked like the 17 of Peters might have gotten into the back end of the 13 of Cameron Haley. And, and that was right beside Matt Kraft, and he got ooh, hard contact. I thought maybe they have a, they had a chance to straighten it out, but then it just stacked everybody up so much. And then About if three or four rows back, they started wrecking. You can't driving straight into the crash. There was a push from Timothy, turned Cameron Haley sideways out on the outside of John Hunter Nemechek. And again, there it looks like they're almost straight, but now we're six and seven wide. Look at Chris Bell slipping through. Well, this is going to be one of those races where you might look back as the winner or the top two or three finishers and say, whew. Rear that's low there. Looks like the left rear is low, and then it, the carcass actually comes off the rest of the tire. Looks like he's going to be fine just down on the bottom of the track. And right there, if he cranks right, yeah. the wheels to the left, I think he misses the wall, but, you know. Yeah, if he could have stayed ahead of it, and, and as you mentioned, cranked to the left, he probably 170, 75 miles an hour. Right. And he has no idea what's getting ready to happen. Mm -hmm. So uh, Mike was uh, was just a victim of circumstance there down into turn one. Right about here, if he says, okay, now if I just crank this baby to the left real hard, you can I'll see go the tire still the pointed to the right. The white flag is out. They're going to crash. Sawyer with a big run. They're crashing. Christopher Bell upside down. Coming to the checkered flag, but the yellow is out for the first time in the Daytona. And the cheers gets bumped. Looks like William Byron got jumped by the 86. Look at Timothy Peters on the inside as Christopher Bell tumbles down the front straightaway. Timothy all the way to the inside of the racetrack is. You know, a lot of new pavement down there, guys, and that makes such a huge difference. They don't get any grass, a lot of huge pavement. For Christopher Bell, watch it. Well, Daniel Hemrick almost went underneath that fourth truck of Christopher Bell. It's a testament to the safety of these racing vehicles that Christopher Bell. These trucks are as safe as they are. Look at this truck just get out of control. Probably about the fastest part of this speedway feel right out of the tri-oval. Mm -hmm. It just starts tumbling. That young man with his dirt racing background, I'm sure he's had many 
barrel rows in his career, but none like that. Despite the fact he made that pit stop into Bobby Labonte, and they're out of shape on the back straightaway. That's Jeff Burton in the 43 sliding through the grass. Second caution of the afternoon, and Bobby Labonte also gets turned around. And that was just a chain effect. You could see those cars start to check up there, and as it got four or five cars further back. Off pit road, we reset the running order when we come back. Who's that guy? Is that 88? Yeah, Chase Elliott. Yeah. Run so you can stack that lineup, and as it got five or six cars back and that gap closed that you were talking about, the rear ending started getting harder from, from the, the cars that had the biggest gap. And you kids at home, that's why you're not supposed to tailgate. That's it, right. Bam, bam, bam. Watch Chase Elliott. All of this happens. He drives through it had made a pit stop earlier, stays out here, and now the 88 is in the race lead. Well, and that comes back to the strategy. You know, Handling become a big issue. You can see the back of the oh, car just, just yeah. comes up out it, a little bit. Looks like the 19th of Kyle, uh, Carl Edwards, when he got up to his left rear, it just started pushing that, the air on that car, and it just took the air off of the spoiler, and around he came. It just stepped out, and I think it shows, that Jeff and I were talking about this earlier, how hot the third and fourth turn is, because the sun beams down on that end of the speedway. Then we got a little tailwind off of turn four, and we've seen yeah. a number of cars get loose. Watch this as he gets to the trioval grass Bam. and Bam. that blade. Hard crash for Dale Earnhardt Jr. Coming. But as he gets Whoa. off the corner, it, it just, just comes around on him. We've, uh, we've seen that several times today. You start to make a abrupt move like that all four, you spin out. Run here on Danica, goes to the inside. Danica wants to squeeze him and try to prevent him from making that pass. He clips her and turns her right into the grass and unfortunately turns himself Movement of these cars down the back straight. We see Danica in the 10 right there. There she goes down on the inside. That car really got light. The wheels come off the ground. Roof flip. Wow. Push oh it back gosh. down. That is turf management at its worst, right? Looking at three. Keep coming, buddy. Hold the brake here. Hold the brake. Straight it out, straight it out, straight it out. Trouble, turn four. Brian Vickers goes for a spin. Everybody takes evasive action and gets by without further back incident. Break back on a break, back on a break, back on a break. His bumper on it, maybe Joey even had to check up, and when he did that, it just took all the air off of Brian's car and off that rear spoiler, and around yeah. it went. Saw the 19 car right there, Carl Edwards. He hit the wall. Turn two down here, guys. Turn one and two, big trouble. Two cars hard into the wall. Chris Busher, one of those four rookies, is all tied up with Matt Benedetto. Wow. That was DiBenedetto first into the outside wall. Well, he got a double Followed whammy. Busher. Anytime you see the rear.